1,001, 1,002. Oh, hey, didn't see you come in there. Just knock it out my 10th easy set for the day. See, I'm a gamer, and as a gamer, I need to maximize my time spent gaming. See, I'm actually gaming right now. I'm in Discord with all my friends. And this is all thanks to my new Sennheiser wireless headset. I can enjoy the near zero latency and high sound quality doing many activities around my house. And with the over 20 hours of battery life, I can enjoy cooking my gamer grub without worrying about my battery dying. Also, with 10 meters of wireless range, I can even enjoy gaming in the sunshine. What do you mean we got raided? Thanks again to Sennheiser for sponsoring this video. Make sure to click the link in the description to check out the new wireless headset and use code WELLIN for a 5% discount at checkout. But let's get into our tale. I was a humble, scantily clad, beach-dwelling solo player. I woke and immediately found a bit of loot in a decaying base. I then heard some interesting sounds from inside a nearby base. This base was being raided. I swiftly went to recycle the loot I'd obtained into raw materials. With the materials I received, I crafted a machete and an unreliable Ioka pistol. Don't do it. Listen, can I have that machete? No. Lend me the machete. Alright. Oh, that- and Stealthily, I crept back up to the raid. I had died. It looks like I'd met my very first adversary. Wasn't a bad try. I respawned close by on the beach and ran back to try to get inside again. The raiders were gone. They were probably very wealthy and had left loot behind. Now was my chance. <laughs> I explored the courtyard and the corridors of this now decaying raided base. I needed to find a way inside the area with loot. I was certain there would be scraps. Yeah. Yoink! Oh. I heard stone crumble behind me. Part of the base had broken. Oh. This had to be it. Oh. Damn good timing. Yep, here I was. Inside the core of the base they had been raiding. And I was right. There was loot left over. I could use these scraps to accelerate my start. See? I also had tool cupboard access and a tier 3 workbench in here. I could take over this shell of a base for my own purposes. Things were going swimmingly. Just like some kind of hermit crab, I had pushed my way into a new set of walls. A new place to call home. Put some pants on, man. I grabbed all the items that I wouldn't need and went to go recycle them. But I didn't have access to the main gate, so I would have to jump in and out of my base. It hurts so much! Jesus Christ! Kinda looks like they might have a base surrounding mining outpost. Interesting. to gather a little bit of wooden stone now. Now I had more items I could sell at the bandit camp as well as recycle for loot. I further secured the base then headed back out. A, big feller. a large base lay across the bay. It looked like it could be surrounding the mining outpost. I was pretty sure they were the people I'd seen earlier raiding what was now my base. Well, feller. I was gonna check it out later. That's definitely the guys who are raiding, though, for sure. Yikes. Later, bitch. Oh, shoot. I traded in the extra puzzle cards for my base for scrap at the bandit camp. Thank you. Then I ran to the scientist outpost nearby to buy a jackhammer. Oh, I got you, I got you. Ah, uh, yeah, you, we can use the one who's, uh, yeah, west, uh, north. You want to run to it? 
I don't care. Whatever. I have just claw. Uh, Thirty. Good talk. I broke the build up to my base, began stocking my furnaces, and made my base mine and mine alone. Then I headed over to where I'd seen that massive base across the water from my home. Bless you. Jesus Christ. Mm, now this looks like two separate bases. This looked like two distinct allied compounds. I started poking around the outside, of it, probing for weaknesses. Lockers up there. A few more ladders and I can go up there. And there it is. They had indeed walled off the mining outpost, a bald yet bullyish move to assert their dominance over this area. Looks like they really like to rub it in as well. These two allied groups. That's a lot of turrets. These guys in the base weren't heavily geared at the moment, but I had a feeling if the fight swayed in my favor, the big guns would come out. Oh shit. Okay, there it goes. God damn. Ah! Killed by a sniper on their roof. This was starting to heat up. The gears of my mind started turning. A plan was beginning to form. Now my base was situated on a peninsula, but across this body of water I'd found a large built-up area. It looked like there were two distinct bases, one just north by the mining outpost and one slightly farther to the east. The one right by mining outpost seemed more fortified, and I'd seen lockers and tower in the eastern compound earlier. I would have to first make some preparations, but this eastern base would be my target to start. I headed out from base again with my jackhammer to go farm. While out in the mountains, I found the remnants of a base and went to check it out. Oh! Jackpot! A gear set was just sitting here in this exposed base. Oh! Oh! What the hell? Serendipity. Looks like I had fortune on my side. I broke the tool cupboard. Tons of resources inside. This changes things a little bit. Good god, man. Leave me alone. All right. Eh? I didn't do nothing, bro. Come on, man. What do you want? You want all my f***ing corn that I'm f***ing starving and all I'm f***ing is eating food, you f***ing piece of <laughs> Take everything, you f***ing... Pleasant fellow. You f***ing... Oh, wow. You... Okay. Looks like someone had been trying to build into my base. It was the raider from earlier. The one who probably lived in one of the major compounds. Hopefully he wouldn't come back to raid again. Using the resources I got, I fortified my home. I went back out to gather some more equipment for my upcoming raid. How it feels to chew five gum. I learned the rifle ammo blueprint. I already had explosive ammo and ladder blueprints on this server. Two important tools for raiding. Time to go investigate the compound. That's where I saw the lockers earlier. I might go up in there and see what I can do. I was at the eastern compound ready to raid. I 
found an outer cupboard with a ladder on it and surveyed the inside. Yeah, I could go make a compound bow and break some of these turrets. I went to craft ladders and a compound bow to break the turrets, then returned, eager to begin. It didn't seem like any of the owners were around. My strategy was quiet, but it would take a while. Maybe they're not sloppy. We'll see. I explored this base here, but it was very well secured and wasn't accessible with my current equipment. I went to go check out the tower next. Light up, I think, right? Oh, yeah. Um, another turret to dispatch to access the tower. It takes a hundred fully charged shots to break one. Now at the tower, time to climb. Bruh. Easy does it. I was on the roof. Let's see what was in here. Okay. Nothing yet. The floors of these rooms were stone. I could use spears to raid up through the vulnerable bottom side, potentially getting some quality loot. I farmed up some wood, then quickly returned and got to work. All right. Nothing at all. Nothing in this first one. Time to try for another floor. Yikes. No loot in this one either. This compound seemed pretty clean. No sloppy mistakes. Bad news for me, but I was determined. The tower was a bust. I was gonna try raiding this building next. I managed to bait the turret and climbed up the ledges of this structure. Easy. Might be looting here if I use some explosive ammo. I had enough materials to craft some at base, so I headed back home. I had been sniped, but I had a sleeping wow. bag close by in case. I ran back. I managed to get my stuff. Now I would have to execute this raid swiftly and efficiently. I bet I go one door deep there and I'm gravy. Back at base, I crafted gunpowder, then explosive ammo, then headed out to start my raid. No. Come on. Come on, come on. Nothing inside here either, and I had used all my explosives. This place is sewn up very tight. I had pretty much exhausted this eastern compound. My next target would be the one right next to the mining outpost, but first I had to head out to make more preparations. Damn, son. Yoink! Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Oh my god. My AK's durability was low. I would have to store it soon so that I could learn the blueprint later on. Go away. <laughs> I 
I'd taken some loot from these guys, and they weren't so happy about it. How do you know I'm behind this door, dude? Are you hacking? Yeah, I know the admin. You know the admin? Yeah. You know the admin's fucking dad. But they couldn't get in, so I was relaxed. I went AFK but left my recording on. We just kept going. I did some crafting to keep preparing for my raid, then headed back out once the coast was clear. Killing me, dude. I need the loot, dude. Sorry. Are you solo, dude? Yeah. Why do you have code locks then, dude? What? We got him. Here, you can keep yeah. your, your suit, poor fella. I saw a wooden base near my home. I grabbed the shotgun I had and broke through the vulnerable wooden doors. More loot for my raid. Perfect. Okay. Oh no! Oh my god, what is going on here? Hello? You are friendly, yeah. yes? Yes, I make it. What is this? What is this? I'm check box. Now back at base after some strange adventures and with more loot and equipment, I crafted a bit, then headed across the bay. It was time to scope out the mining outpost compound. Bait angle. I would start the raid by baiting these two turrets here by the tower. Just be careful. Maybe I can bait this one too. Nice. With these two out of ammo, I went to climb the tower. It was all open inside, but it didn't look like there was any loot. I climbed to the top to take stock of my target. Okay, we got this thing. Now there were tons of turrets on their main base. That would be the primary challenge, but there were boxes and furnaces in the courtyard. They could potentially have some juicy loot. Then in front of their gate, it looked like a TC was exposed. If I could claim this, I would be able to bait turrets and eventually weasel my way inside. Well, I could build my way out. But before I would raid their main base, I was gonna blow into the bottom of this tower. I darted back home, grabbed all the explosive ammo I crafted, then vaulted back over the walls and got started. Careful here, tiger. Some decent loot in here, and a bunch of metal frags in the tool cupboard. Two L96 snipers! This was juicy, just the pick-me-up I needed. I can use this as a forward base now. So many turrets, man. I had claimed the tool cupboard outside their gate, and here I could bait the turrets on their main base. I would be able to build a perfect baiting gallery. Okay. And so I began the arduous task of baiting all these auto turrets. My strategy was this. Take as much damage as I could, then heal up by drinking water at the large water catcher next to me. After baiting for a bit, I escaped home briefly to grab more equipment. A turret and a jackhammer to break a wall to give me access to the rest of the tower I raided. I broke through a soft side wall in the tower I raided to access the top. Oh, a bit of loot in here. Yeah, okay, well. Now back to baiting turrets.
<laughs> I'm in danger. Okay, that's two. You still got a number of them to do. I continued baiting them throughout the night, but then as morning came, there was a sniper in a tower. This is no longer gonna be possible. I gotta get out. Damn. Give it a try. I can build stuff behind me so he can't snipe me. Okay, well, I know which tower he's in. Good a chance as any. If I want to get in there, I'm going to need more. Three have been baited. Another turret drained. See, with the buildup I had made behind me blocking sniper fire, I could resume my baiting of the turrets. But I had to be careful. One wrong move and I'd be dead. So I might be able to jump on top of that gate. <sighs> Grab a rad suit and YOLO at it. I'll have to headshot this guy first, though. All right. I put away my best gear. Yeah, I was gonna make an attempt to jump into the main base courtyard. Okay. Let's take a look around this lair. That one's out too. I would need to climb over the inner courtyard wall, but the sniper would have a shot on me. I would have to be fast. That one's gonna see me, I think. At least I'll have an idea of what's possible in there. Okay. Wow. I was exploring the inner lair. Okay. Food and some other items. Decent stuff, but nothing jaw-dropping. That one's out killed by a turret, but my entry strategy was sound. Time to just repeat it. Oh, a sleeping person in the courtyard. This was some good loot. As I explored the outside of the building, I realized that this was a very fortified bunker base. Oh, this is a bunker, man. I'm not making any progress in here. That put the requirements to raid far beyond the number of explosives that I currently had. I kept considering my options as I baited turrets and scrounged together any further loot in this area. It's ya boy. Okay. Man, I don't have anywhere near enough explosives to raid this thing. Oh, <laughs> I'm the star of the show. I was keeping tabs on the sniper. Fortunately, a tree obscured his view from the tower. He hadn't been taking any more shots. I smashed a bit some of the turrets that had caused me so much grief. Just let him pass. Oh man, take what I can. Then I grabbed everything I could, as well as all the items on my body from before, and headed out of the inner courtyard. I'd gotten some loot, but for the amount of time and effort raiding and baiting turrets, I wasn't satisfied. There's only one gate out of there. Now this clan had selfishly walled off the mining outpost. Let's try this one out for size. So I walled off their gate. You cheeky little blighter. <laughs> Can't get over this either. Moments later, a hot air balloon spawned at their gate, making it even more difficult to get out. Divine intervention if I ever saw it. So amazing. I grabbed everything from my tower and headed back home. I put away my first haul of loot, then respawned in the tower and grabbed the rest. All the loot was back at base. Now I had also seen a boat base that they had, and I wanted to use my remaining explosives. I went to go break into that building as well. I blew through a few doors and a soft side of a wall. Oof. Okay. Alright. I got a bit of loot out of it, but not as much as I had hoped. 
I was out of explosives. I had made decent gains, but I still felt a bit dejected. That major jackpot remained elusive. So I did what all epic gamers do at a time like this. I took a nap. I returned hours later, feeling like something special might be looming on the horizon. I ran back to the compound when I heard a minicopter flying over, about to enter the first base I had infiltrated. There were SAM sites. I couldn't fly the minicopter out. I was plotting my escape when I heard a voice. What do you want, Bob? Some loot. What kind of loot are you after, fella? Uh, cheeky. What you got? I don't know. What are you telling me? What you want? This guy seemed genuine. I had attempted to raid his base earlier, but I had a feeling that I should keep this conversation going. What do you think of those guys over there? I asked him about the other compound by mining outposts, the one I had raided most recently. They've gone, man. They've, they've left the server. Really? I... I... I raided them, but yeah. I, I... I didn't succeed. We continued to talk, and I felt that I was gaining a bit of trust with him. He mentioned how the other group had left the server. Apparently someone had placed a wall in front of their gate. So what are you after, man? I've just been given their base. Really? Yeah, what do you want? I'll sort you out with some stuff. Sorry I shot you, man. If I feel kind of bad. No, don't feel bad, mate. That's the game. This guy was nice. He explained how he had been friendly with that group in exchange for them not attacking him. We talked about a few different things. Where we're from and more. England. A place called uh, Nottingham. Like, uh... Have you ever heard of Robin Hood? Yeah, I was about to say, like, uh, the Sheriff of Nottingham. That's the one. Well, let me sort you some stuff out, man. I don't need all the stuff they've given me. I've got every code for the building now. Oh, do you think I could just see inside? Like, I had built a good rapport, but I was asking a lot. Um, Bob. He had just met me, and I wanted to see the inside of a secured base. I was in the place where the building is, so I've been in there. Did you manage to drain all those turrets? Yeah, man, it took about 20 years. I tell you what, Bob, just give me one second, man. After talking some more, he came up with a plan so that I could see my goal. I'll put some locks on the chest. If you give me two minutes, mate, follow me. See, sometimes just talking to someone can get you what you want. As morning came, we headed over to the other compound. I had drained all the turrets, and he said they hadn't even bothered to refill any of them. They're all empty, mate, every single one. Really, still? We entered the courtyards where I'd spent so much time earlier than headed to the front door. Wow different perspective than last time, that's for sure. Loot out here in these chests. Feel free to take any of it, mate. My new friend went inside, locked the areas where I could really cause trouble, and then he let me in. Oh, why? Did you grief some of it? If you can't beat them, make their lives very inconvenient. <laughs> yeah. I know exactly what you're saying. More loot out here. Come on in, man. I think everything should be good. I'll proceed slowly and with caution. Everything must be empty. Anything in the boxes you want, mate, that are open, take it. This was a tanky base. I saw just how insufficient my explosives were to raid this. He took me through a winding, armored corridor, then into their loot rooms. There were tons of items. And then up here, it's boxes, boxes, boxes. I was filled with glee, stuffing my pockets with all this previously inaccessible loot. Brother Bull, thank you for this tour, man. Got to uh, see how terrific my failure would have been, you know? <laughs> That's no problem, man. They say, uh, I'm glad I didn't try and raid it. With my inventory full, I went to head out. Before I saw a familiar name inside the base. The guy so long ago who had been raiding and had killed me at what would become my home. It felt right, knowing I had plumbed the depths of his base, even if it hadn't been at the business end of a rocket launcher. One second, I'll let you out. Cool, man. Well, man, great to meet you. Thanks for the tour. Yeah, no problem. Good to meet you as well, man. Yep. Good luck for the rest of the while. I said goodbye to my new friend. I think we both felt better after our encounter. Now, my raids today hadn't reached the level of wild success I had experienced in the past, but I had made a friend, and at the end of the day, I had been inside the inner sanctum of a major clan base. Not the most conventional raid, but my boxes were now loaded with their loot. I was done here. My base had taken me in. Like a hermit crab, I had wiggled into it, and it had become my home. I unlocked all the doors. This place had served its purpose for me. And just like that hermit crab, when it's time to move on, you leave your shell behind. 
Maybe someone else would find this base and all the loot inside, and that would be the beginning of their story. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm currently live streaming on Twitch right now. Come say hi. And thanks again to Sennheiser for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description and remember to use code WELLIN for a 5% discount. Also, follow me on all my social medias and make sure to follow my thumbnail artist as well. The links are below. I hope you all have a great day. This is your friend Wellen. Until next time.